What's going on YouTube? I wanted to make a quick video to help some guys out if they want to update their knobs on their AC system to a newer modern style. Uh, I just got this billet wheel put in and I wanted a little bit more chrome accents in the truck so I'm changing these knobs and I'm uh, going to get some billet door handles and maybe some other uh, billet stuff for this interior. But this is a super cheap way to get a little chrome accent going on in the truck. Let's see if I can get it to focus. As you can see, nice knob. This is the old crusty one. The yellow's faded out. And, uh, you know, I think this one just looks better in my opinion. And it fits really well. It's just a easy modification you can see the difference on these two right here all you got to do get your little pick or maybe some really small needle nose and just pull that metal clip out it looks like that and it'll slide out of there and then you can take this piece and uh i got a belt sander down there you can throw it on the belt sander or uh, Grinder, you can do it with a file by hand, whatever. And you're just gonna sand this piece down until it's flush. Man, my phone is not wanting to focus tonight, apologize. You're gonna sand that down until it's flush with the back of this. So I'm gonna sand it down real quick, show you guys what it looks like after. So there you go. Now you're just gonna go back and clean out all that crud and that little bar that goes in the middle right there. Take your razor knife and break that little piece out of there. All right, as you can see, I got that little bar cut out of there. These are all the tools you're gonna need. Uh, really just one or the other on the pick or the pliers. But uh, if you got both, it makes it even easier for pulling that little piece out and pulling that retainer clip out and the razor blade. I kind of just used that to cut the little bar and then pulled it out with the pick or uh, with the needle nose. But that's what you're left with after you cut the little bar out. Um, I'm actually not gonna put this spring retainer clip back in there on my truck. I just test fitted it and this fits really well without it. And I almost feel like if I put that on there, it's going to be too tight or, or extremely hard to get back off if I ever want to take it back off. So I'm going to leave that out on mine um, for your truck. This and Dom may fit looser uh, depending on the manufacturer or whatever. So you can always put that back in there and that'll hold your knob back on. You can just tap it back in with a hammer um, or just, you know, if you got to press, press it back in there gently. But I'm going to go ahead and throw mine on and show you how it fits. And pull these ones. You just. Uh, it's already been off a couple times, but it's not hard to get back off. And then you're going to look for the flat spot. Oh, almost dropped it. So there we go. There you go. So you can see. Looks better than these, uh, old crusty things in my opinion and you can get these knobs on amazon for like ten dollars they fit on the uh i believe it's like 08 to 2017 gmc savannah vans and uh i hope this video helps y'all out if you got any questions or just want to drop a positive comment or hit that like button i'd appreciate it anyways i'll catch you guys on the next one peace